So how is all the CA inter reference students? I think your preparation is going at a peak stage now. But just to spare a five to ten minutes time, we will cover all the problematic adjustments in ratios chapters as that you will feel comfortable because anyway, I have clearly given here the illustration number and page number in the study material as well. It will be no more difficult for you to see. See here. First one. G, uh, in one of the questions, they ask this way. Direct problem adjustments I am going to do. So concentrate properly. GP means GP by sales. They will give you the gross profit amount in the question. Sales they will give. GP by sales will give you GP ratio. Next one. Operating expenses to sales ratio. If they ask question like this, now what you need to do? Operating expenses they will give, sales they will give, ratio will be operating expenses by sales into 100. This is called as operating expenses to sales ratio. Next, operating profit ratio, EBIT by sales, EBIT. See, in the given question, there is no interest and taxation. Therefore, EBIT and net profit both are same. So in the question, they have given net profit and there is no interest in tax in the question. Therefore, net profit will become EBIT. That's why I'm taking direct problematic adjustments, EBIT by sales. If interest and tax are given, you have to reverse calculate. Or else net profit, PIT and EBIT both will be same. Capital turnover ratio. Whenever I say turnover ratio, sales should come in numerator. Okay. Sales by capital employed into 100. Sales by capital employed. They will give you capital employed. They will give you sales. It will become like this. Okay. Sales by capital employed into 100. You can write it in three ways. 300% you can write. 300% means the sales are performing three times then. That means for every one rupee capital you invest, three rupee sales are getting generated. Next. Stock turnover ratio. Stock turnover ratio. Very, very important. See here. Whenever two years data is given and stock turnover ratio is given, COGS by average stock you have to calculate. Okay. How to calculate average stock? They will give you the opening stock and closing stock. They will give you opening stock and closing stock in the question. Opening stock, closing stock. Now average will become like this. This will go here. Okay. Now, what is this? 4.7 to 3.87. Question will arise now. Cost of goods sold divided by average stock. 4.72 times 3.87 times. 3.87 times. Okay. So, more the... Stock turnover ratio better the company will be. Next, net profit to net worth ratio. Net profit by net worth into 100. Very, 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 very important adjustment. Net profit to net worth is also called as a return on equity. Equity shareholders want which return? Profit after tax return. Okay, profit after tax return. Okay, profit after tax. In this question, anyway, tax and interest not there. Now, profit after tax is nothing but EBIT. So, EBIT is nothing but profit after tax. Net worth means balance sheet values of equity share capital and resource and surplus, not market values. That is given in the question. So, we added, we calculated. So, more net profit to net worth or simply to tell return on equity, better the company will be. So, net profit and is also known as return on equity. Company made best utilization of equity funds. Re receivables collection period. Okay, means debtors by sales into 100. Debtors by sales into 100. So, receivables collection period is also called as a debt collection period. Debtors collection period. It is expressed in number of days. Okay, debtors divided by sales into 360. Listen carefully. If they ask you debtors turnover ratio, debtors turnover ratio, then you have to do this way. Okay, sales divided by average debtors you have to do. Sales divided by average data or COG is divided by average data, depending on the type of question. But here, if you observe clearly, they did not ask data, uh, what to say this, uh, uh, turnover ratio. They asked about the collection period, number of days. So, reverse formula will come. Data is divided by sales. Data is divided by sales. Okay. Data are given in the question. Credit sales are given. 67 days, 87 days. Lower is better because... Your money is blocked in debtors for 67 days in 21-22 year. But in 22-23 year, it is blocked for 87 days. So, higher is always worst. Okay, more money is blocked. Next question. Question number two, like important adjustments that we need to. All illustrations in the study material directly. Okay. In question number two, what is the important adjustment? See here. Share cap, a, a particular company is that is going for a capital structuring, restructuring of its capital, reorganization. Okay. Therefore, what they have given, since it is said that share capital after reorganization is same as before. Overall, share capital will be same, 1 lakh. Okay. Even after reorganization, 
values of various items post re, uh, reorganization will be as follows previously it is 1 lakh now also it is 1 lakh this is also given so remaining ratios they have given in the question you have to see and write next step important adjustments uh, whenever question is asked on additions to plant and machinery additions to plant and machinery plant and machinery before reorganization okay and additional depreciation adjustment will be there important adjustment you, are, you need to see in this question after that existing plant and machinery after and plant and machinery after additional depreciation reorganization so additions made are 10,000 this is not a great thing just to do the adjustment in this particular question question number two in page number 3.48 in the study mat remaining is only just a missing figures calculation ah, very important adjustment yeah see here whenever question is valuation of stock valuation of stock using a quick ratio quick ratio can be written as current assets minus stock divided by current liability current assets there already calculated in the previous step step number two total assets are given fixed at 60 percent current asset 40 percent 80 thousand so 80 thousand current asset stock we don't know current liabilities first step one we have done 50 thousand so stock is calculated 30 thousand receivables means a debtors calculation it is given that receivables are four fifth of the quick assets so quick assets we already know that it is fifty thousand. Four fifth means forty thousand. calculation of sales listen carefully whenever debtors velocity is given what do you mean by debtors velocity debtors by sales into 100 okay obviously in the question nothing is said now all sales are assumed on credit so forty thousand divided by sales into 12 equal to two months sales is two lakh forty thousand gross profit 15% of sales, he said, sales of 15%, 36,000. Cost of goods sold will be sales minus GP equal to cost of goods sold. Calculation of net profit, they have given return on equity, return divided by equity, return represents PAT, okay, and equity represents total net worth, it is equal to 1,30,000, total equal to 13,000. Next, calculation of administration and selling expenses. Gross profit we have calculated net profit also we calculated here other expenses are there other expenses administration selling overheads interest expense five percent on debentures they only said okay they only said that it is five percent of debentures so it came to one thousand interest expense all other expenses administration selling expenses are twenty two thousand okay how we got the twenty two thousand gross profit thirty six thousand net profit is thirteen thousand a balance should be the expenses now in that 23,000 is the other expenses. In that other expenses, interest is 1,000. So, in uh, administration selling expenses will be 22,000. Okay, next. Uh, if there is an important ratio, I will explain. So, EBIT by sales of operating profit margin, net profit, uh, next. Very important uh, adjustment. Return on assets. Okay, return on assets. They will clearly tell, take operating profit after tax. Then, EBIT into 1 minus T by total assets. If not, you can take EBIT by total assets. Okay. Normally, return on assets means, normally, return on assets represents profit divided by total assets. Which profit doubt will come? Therefore, they will ask in the question clearly, operating profit calculation ah, to assets or net profit or operating profit after tax or something. In the question, they clearly said EBIT into 1 minus T by total assets into 100. Asset turnover ratio, turnover by total assets. Return on equity, return by equity, return means e EAT. Next question. Next question. Fixed assets, total uh, calculation of total current assets. They have given this ratio in the question directly. This is not any ratio name given in the question. Fixed assets to current assets is 5 by 7. Using that, you calculated current assets. Total capital. Fixed assets divided by total cap given in the question 5, is 5 by 4. When they have already given, already we calculated fixed assets now. Put that you will get the value capital to total liability capital to total liability very very important adjustment you will get a doubt capital to total liability is one by two sir capital to total liability total liability the capital will be there anyway other than capital other liabilities like that we should it is presumed that total liabilities do not include capital like that assumption has to be taken in exam remaining everything is same yeah, yeah gross profit ratio net profit ratio Stock turnover, you know, COGS by average stock. Okay. Next. 
ओपनिंग स्टॉक एवरेज स्टॉक इक्वल टू ओपनिंग स्टॉक प्लस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक डिवाइडेड बाय 2 ओके ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज 80000 कैलकुलेट एज अ मिसिंग फिगर रिमाइंडिंग करंट रेशियो रिसीवेबल टर्नओवर रेशियो आई मीन रिसीवेबल टर्नओवर में डेटा टर्नओवर रेशियो सेल्स बाय डेटा सेल्स बाय स्टॉक टोटल एसेट्स टर्नओवर रेशियो टर्नओवर बाय टोटल एसेट्स नेट प्रॉफिट रिटर्न ऑन टोटल एसेट्स EBIT by total assets. Just now we did na total return on total assets means EBIT by total assets. Profit after if we ask clearly profit after tax na PAT by total assets. R is EBIT. EBIT after tax if they ask you how to do like in the previous question. Return on net worth na profit after tax by net worth. Net worth is also called as equity. Net worth represents equity share capital plus the resource and surplus. Next total debt to assets means long term plus short term debt divided by total asset. Next question. Here in the question, they only asked us to calculate some important ratios on the basis of the data given in the question. There we can calculate current ratio, liquid ratio, gross profit, net profit, stock turnover, like that. These all are you have to write in exam. So average stock, all these are given. Nothing great. All these are known ratios. Say just to see the problem, you will do best in your examination. That's just working. It nothing great. Ten ratios already. Whatever we learned, one question that we have done all these. Next, other practical questions in this study material. Now, dividend yield. Whenever a question on dividend yield comes, na dividend divided by market price into hundred is called as a dividend yield. Next, remaining all are missing figures. P ratio, MPS by EPS. Ah, very very important here. Remember, exam la question la also can come. Dividend coverage ratio. There are two dividends: preference dividend coverage, equity dividend coverage. Preference dividend coverage. Preference dividend will be paid out of profit after tax. Therefore, profit after tax in the numerator. Equity dividend will be paid out of PAT minus preference dividend. That's why numerator divided by preference dividend divided by equity dividend. That's all. Answer over. Next, remaining are just missing figures calculation using all these. Now, next, proprietary fund means what? Proprietary fund. How to calculate proprietary fund is nothing but the equity fixed assets by proprietary fund they have given like this you calculate it calculation of equity share capital just now I told them for proprietary fund means equity share capital plus resource and surplus also called as net worth okay that's it next next adjustment missing figure calculation only nothing great ah uh, calculation of share capital and reserves. If question la return on net worth is given, return on equity, return on net worth means return on equity is given. They ask you to calculate share capital plus resource and surplus. What is that? What does it mean? Denominator they are asking you. Return by net worth equal to twenty five. Okay, net worth is fifty. Question la they have already given that seven tenth will be equity capital, three tenth will be resource and surplus. This amount you divide into two parts. Next, remaining again. Stock turnover ratio, current ratio, yes. Next, long term debt to net worth means long term debt by net worth equal to this one. These are all missing figures calculation. These are not ratio calculation. These are missing figures. They will give you one uh, uh, numerator to denominator ratio without any name. You have to calculate missing figures. Just pure mathematics and quantitative brain. That's it. So next, next ratio inventory turnover cost of goods sold by stock. Average collection period, debt or by credit sales. Assuming all sales on credit, if nothing is given in the question, liquid ratio, balance sheet preparation. That's it. Yeah, nothing great in this question. All are in the same ratio. So therefore, ratios ki formula discussion I have already made in 30 minutes in one of the previous videos. Go through that. Okay. These are all some important adjustments. Ratios analysis chapter la one hour you put the time. All these things, whatever I have now said, just visit to the document. Put the ICI study material, illustrations, and practical problems, and just go through the questions and answers. That's it. You are done. Six seven marks will surely come in exam. Okay. Thank you.